what is this? You know, what is this for? Is it a mountain bike? If so, where's the suspension? Is it a road bike? Why does it have big tires? So what is it? When I was a kid, I had a bike and I rode it down the street, off the sidewalk, into the dirt, to the BMX track, off a wooden ramp, and then to school. You know, it was the same bike for everything. I've been studying this and just working on bikes constantly, uh, reading every book I can find, talking to everybody I can find out in the industry who will talk to me, talking with engineers, uh, talking with people around the world, and all the riders and all my customers, and then all, all my time riding and racing. The body position is, I think, one of the most important things about the bikes and how and how it allows me to ride the way I ride. You know, a, a bicycle is pretty uncomfortable anyway. I mean, a, ch a chair itself is hard to sit in for a few hours. You could have a lazy boy chair sit in that for three or four hours and be uncomfortable if you don't move. So a bicycle needs to be very comfortable. So having a, a position where you can keep your arms bent, you can move your hands around, you can look where you want to go, your neck's in a natural position, but you can still get arrow when you need to because sometimes there's a headwind you need to get arrow. So you need to have all the different hand positions while staying comfortable for a long distance ride. You don't need to be hunched over to generate a lot of force. So I changed the body position on the bike. Handlebars higher and further back, standing more on my feet. And this allows somebody to ride all day a lot more comfortably. And if you're comfortable, you'll ride better. So this handlebar, what I was looking for was something that brought my hands into a more natural position. And I was just holding two pieces of tubing in my shop at night, and just kind of moving them around. And I kind of settled on 45 degrees. Uh, for many reasons after experimenting with some other angles. This handlebar works really well on this bike because this handlebar is brought close to me. It's brought rearward toward me, toward me, not because I have a short stem, but because I have a slack seat angle. If the seat is back, the top two blank is short, and the top two blank is brought, brought towards the rear. So all the way from very, very upright, to full downhill kind of motorcycle trials, BMX kind of control of the bicycle, very good power and control here, coming up and shifting having the resting and riding positions to the full aero position for resting. So, I mean, you can use this for, for anything. The vast majority of the people out there who are riding full suspension bikes, they're riding on trails that don't need full suspension. Full suspension bikes aren't good on the really super technical stuff, as well as they are for hitting a jump and getting air. A bike with large wheels and no suspension with a good body position that sits you upright is, is all you need and you don't need any full suspension. So I just don't do full suspension bikes and a bike like this can be for anything. You can use it for, for just riding, bikepacking, touring, mountain bike racing, gravel grinding, road riding, uh, all kinds of things. What I want is to have a fork that doesn't flex front to rear while braking and something that's very strong and very light. This fork is much stiffer than the suspension forks and all the other rigid forks out there because it has a cross section from here all the way to here. And when you apply the brake, this tube is pulling, this tube is compressing, and it's all working together in a much kind of more unified way. Uh, I feel the handling's much better, and I can, I can steer right between little rocks where before on my full suspension bike, I could ride and I could do a lot of stuff, but I didn't have the same precise kind of control. We're using 50 millimeter rims on most of the bikes. Whether it's for the road or for the dirt, these wide rims allow the tire to be ran at a lower pressure while being more stable side to side giving you more traction, a smoother ride, and lower rolling resistance. It's really incredible. You know, the wide rim makes a really big difference. So 50 millimeter rims on this bike, 29 by three inch tires, riding, uh, we're running them at around 10 to 15 PSI. That's about the range. The good news is I've been selling bicycles like this to many, many people, and they're coming back with very good feedback. A lot of the things we've been doing are catching on. You know, wider rims, bigger tires, more fork offset, handlebars with a lot of sweep, you know, using bikes for fun. It's, it's a lot of things a lot of people are doing and it's, it's a good trend. We all wanna have a safe ride. We all wanna have a fast ride. We all wanna not work too hard. We don't wanna waste our energy. We don't wanna break down. Uh, we wanna be able to see where we're going. We wanna be able to ride over rough terrain if necessary or if you, that's what you enjoy. And uh, that's what these bicycles are for. It's for riding anywhere and everywhere efficiently and comfortably.